growing up in Santa Barbara, we would joke around that surfing was our real job, and then our other job, other other stuff was just to support that. And so we were just would pretty much just be chasing waves. And then if there wasn't surf, then we'd be in the water exploring yeah. with our spear guns and going for sea bass and yellowtail and different game fish like that. Getting to the point where you can be underwater interacting with the fish rather than just like trying to really just hunt them, hunt them, but just like really interact with them and be with them. Really more of a meditative experience and the more time I've been able to be under the water with the fish, the more I find myself just finding just deep respect for the ocean. And I think ultimately, you know, really it's like the ocean itself is like just the dynamics of the swells, the, you know, the tides, it's just the dance of life. You know, what nourishes our bodies, our minds, our souls, like what's an, what, are, what, what things nourish us? And I would say, you know, absolutely there's, you know, food, from a physical standpoint, and also just relationship. And so I would say I've always wanted to infuse this energy of, of like a, a neighborly energy coming across the counter. You know, connecting the fishermen to our community, being able to tell that story to them with our new location out in Goleta, which gives us total control over what's happening and allows us to really to connect our fishermen to our community of fish lovers. You know, I have this huge problem growing up. I, I started fishing on charter boats and stuff with my dad, fishing off the piers at a very young age. And the fish I was catching were never the fish that was in restaurants. And to me, it's, it's a sin to be staring at the Pacific Ocean and not serving the seafood that's being landed here. My question as a chef was always why? And why doesn't the consumer, why doesn't the diner actually appreciate these fish that are being landed right here? Why are we importing fish from overseas? At the fish market, I wanted to feature all of these fish that are, that are only caught on the west coast that some people may never have heard of. Our fish and chips, we do only local Santa Barbara rockfish. It's one of those fish species that isn't featured enough on menus and it lends itself perfectly to frying. Santa Barbara black cod, this is one of the bigger black cod ports uh, in California. And, you know, there's just not a market for some of the smaller fish that we get down here. A lot of the, the overseas customers want the Alaskan giant black cod. So finding ways creatively to use the Santa Barbara black cod and make it good and make it craveable. And I think it is our mission to educate diners to, to understand local seafood. Thank you.